Hey everybody, this is Saber and welcome to StarMaid. Today I'll be walking you through our latest update, which focuses on the new rail system. The basic rail block and rail docker are the foundation for this system. Think of basic rails as a conveyor, which the rail docker can follow. Basic rails can be laid out in many complex paths. Lay them down with the rail texture exposed. The texture will indicate the direction of movement for the docked entity. In order to attach a docker to the rail, it must be equipped on the hotbar of the entity you wish to dock. Aim at the basic rail blocks and fire the docker. The arrows will mirror each other on both the rail docker and the basic rail once docked. The docked entity will automatically travel along the rail path. If there is only one rail present, it will act as a stationary dock. Two rail rotator blocks are also available, clockwise and counterclockwise. When a docked entity passes over them, they will rotate based on which one is used. The texture indicates where the docker will travel next, so orient them accordingly. Rail rotator blocks and basic linear rails can be interchanged at any time to allow more complex movements. Place any of the rail blocks in the orientation that you want to apply to your rail system. Place an activation block directly next to it. Make sure the logic block is only adjacent to this rail block. Slave the rail blocks that you want altered to the activation module with the C and V buttons. When activating the logic, it will copy the adjacent block and its orientation and apply it to its slaved rail blocks. You can slave rails to more than one activation block. Other logic blocks can be used here, so long as the rails receive a signal. Linking a rotator to logic activators will allow you to set the degrees per rotation. Each active signal will increase the rotation by 45 degrees. If a rail is slaved to an activation block and it is triggered, it will undock the entity currently on the rail. A rail will output a signal to any adjacent logic blocks when an entity passes over it. The turret access block allows players to create swiveling mounts for turrets. Using two of these on more than one axis can provide a full range of motion for a turret system. In order to build an operational turret, the weapon systems, computers, and Bobby AI modules must be placed on the barrel portion of the turret structure. The orientation of the turret structure can be reset with the C button. This can also be done from the structure tab. Mass enhancers will allow you to move larger structures on rail systems. Simply place them on the mothership and they will increase the mass limit on all rail systems on the structure. If the mothership cannot support the mass, then the entity will undock upon attempting to move. Mass enhancers require power. Speed enhancers will allow you to alter the speed of docked entities on rail systems. Slave your rail systems to a speed enhancer with the C and V buttons. You can slave any number of activation blocks to the speed enhancers. 
The number of active logic signals will determine how fast the rail system moves the docked entity. This is based on a proportion. 10 out of 10 active signals will give the same speed as 1000 out of 1000 active signals. Shielding can now be shared down a chain of docked entities. For example, if a turret takes damage, it will check to see if the next entity in the docking chain has shields. If that entity has 50% or more of its shields remaining, it will damage those shields instead. If not, it will continue checking down the chain. A faction block on the mothership will now claim all docked entities for that faction. Asteroids should now be capable of supporting more systems, such as factories. Some textures in the game have also been updated. Wireless Logic makes its debut with this update. Place a wireless logic block on two separate entities. You can connect them with the C and V buttons. You can also connect them with the marker beam. Right click on the slave and then left click on the master. Wireless logic can only link to one other wireless logic block. Buttons are a new logic block as well. Sending a signal through it will only activate it temporarily. Flip-flops are another new logic block. They will toggle their output only when they receive an on signal. The inner remote block allows logic activation through the hotbar of a ship. Place one on the entity and press R on it to name it. You will find it in your weapons tab ready for hotbar use. Aside from all these new things, there have been plenty of bug fixes thanks to our new devs. This is a big update, so there may be a bit of confusion regarding these complex systems. For more in-depth tutorials, check out Bench's videos by clicking this annotation. The full dev blog regarding this update can be found in the description below. Have fun with the rails, and as always, thanks for playing StarMade.